Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and you guys have been demanding for a part two and a massive update on our new pony situation. But I'm going to give you a bit of a detox of what's been going on. So when we got the pony, um, we literally instantly the next day we had to go to the Maldives because my mum had a work trip and me and Harlan were going as well. Honestly, it's been an absolute whirlwind. We didn't even know it was going on till literally a couple days before. And mum was like, oh my God, when can we go and feed this pony? Can I do it before we go to the airport? Can we, oh, and then we, uh, we, uh, thank God we had a free day um, the day before. So it was Sunday we went to go view him and then Monday we went straight to the airport. So it was a massive rush. Our drive to go and get the pony was a 12 hour round trip. It was so long, but it was so worth it. He was up in Liverpool. So he was up, up, up. South? North. North. <laughs> Wirral. He was in the Wirral, near Liverpool. Wirral. He was near w Liverpool, but it was so far away. But it, it's such a worth it thing. And all of our ponies have been two hours or over drive to get them. So our ponies, when we get them, they're not local at all. They're from all over England, <laughs> literally. But thank God we went to go and view him because mum was like, oh, should we go and view him after the holiday? And Nanny was like, no, we cannot do this. I do not want another pony disaster where we go and and we're on the way to go and view the pony and they say, oh, sorry, we sold him. So we literally went, we literally stopped, we paused our lives. And mum was like flicking through the diary like, oh my God, can we go get, when can we go view him and get him? So we actually don't view a pony unless my mum has her absolute heart set on it. So if if there's something tragically wrong with it it looks nothing like it is in the photo we're not going to get it but if it's like even better in the flesh my mum is like here's the money <laughs> you give me the pony <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we, it's it's just so am i crazy babes yeah am i crazy mum yeah you are quite crazy oh that's funny but yeah, we're gonna go up to the field and get popcorn because a lot of you know that he has had such a poorly eye lately and we've had the vet out almost three times a week, every week for the past, was it five weeks now? Four, five, about four weeks, yeah. About, about four weeks. So we are, he's on special eye drops, creams and everything to get him better. And we've got another, we've got a blood test vet out, is it tomorrow? Yep. But there's been, absolutely no riding work because he's been in a bit of pain in his eye and we just think it's quite unpleasant to have all that tack on and everything whilst you've got poorly eye yeah he's, so, he doesn't want to be working he's had a really yeah. sore eye mm. he has literally had the works and it's cost a fortune in vet bills to get him better but anything for popcorn literally i can see him where is he is he over there Ooh, where's yeah, I can't see him. I think he's in this. Oh, is he in the field shelter? No. No, he wouldn't be. I can't see him. But poor little Popcorn hasn't been able to come on any of the vlogs. He's been on a little big hay. He's been on rest from any kind of. Oh, he's in that field. Where is he? In the, over there. I saw like a, like a blue. Can you see the, like, the little turquoise blob? <laughs> we're looking in that field like oh where is he he's all the way over there we don't know where he is because he just we've just been on holiday if you've been wondering why you haven't been seeing popcorn on the vlog so much it's because he's just out of action he's on a little vacay just healing, healing and having a luxurious little break but hopefully that's it now and we can just get back into work with popcorn and just just have fun again because we we really want to go show jumping with him again we want to do loads of dressage tests but and we've been seeing them on we've been seeing loads of competitions and everything but we just haven't been able to do them so this is pony number one he's all the way in in the corner of the field i can see a little turquoise blob with cream on this side and this side um it's like a little turquoise sandwich i haven't seen him for like a bit under a week now so i can't wait to see him 
we aren't actually going to bring popcorn in yet because we're going to go see the new pony but i just wanted to you know have a little cuddle with popcorn give him loads of treats give him lots of love we um, aren't going to bring him in because we don't want to cut his turnout short he's got another four hours worth of turnout so we don't want him to be just be standing in the stable you know just it's, it's much fun out in the field um for them and this field is actually quite big um for popcorn for popcorn um and there's a little best day west day just for now it's going to be cuddles kisses and treats then we're going to go and take you to see the new pony but first we got the little man well the big man compared to all of the other ones <sighs> i'll put that down there He's so fluffy. Is he? Yeah, look. We're not going to look at this side of his neck. Let's see. I'll come round. It's a bit. Popcorn's been taking full advantage of getting dirty while I've been on holiday. Haven't you? Yes. We're going to have a look at his little eye. Come here, come here, come here. Good boy. This is the poorly one. You can see it's a bit squinty. Um, come here. Come here, good boy. Going to give you some treats in a minute. It looks a lot better. It looks so much better compared to when we last saw it. Because when we last saw it, it, it looks a bit squinty now, but it was so much more squinty. He was like winking at us all the time because it was just closed. But yeah, you're getting better, weren't you? It is, yes. is a little bit, it's still a bit like it. They just don't know why, do they? Yeah, we don't even know how he got it. No, Come he's here. got uh, two ulcers in there. Oh, he's, he's getting a little beard as well. Oh. The beard's growing. Bless him. But he's been on treatment for weeks now, hasn't he? I know. Poor boy. Poor little boy boy. Right, Popcorn. We'll see you later on. We're going to get yeah, your new brother. He's not cream though, I'm sorry. We kind of broke the blonde theme going on here, but I, I don't, you don't get many um, like Palomino cream kind of colours, Dartmoors. I don't think they exist. I, I know these do I. <laughs> when we come back, I'm gonna have your new little brother. Yes, he's gonna be the youngest of the family. Popcorn's the oldest, Popcorn's the role model. He's the icon, he's the, uh, Basically the legend. Oh, there's a little thistle stuck in his foot. There we go. Just bend this down. I'll go chuck this over in the bush. So you might have guessed that the new pony is not here because when we bought him, we dropped him off at Cloudy's yard. We knew we were going on holiday the next day and we didn't want him to come out of work. So he's at Cloudy's yard. But yeah, we're doing a bit of... Yeah, we didn't want to just, just drop him here and then and then him like just be in the field, like not no one like ride him or work him for the week, did we? No. Yeah, we just didn't want that for him. So um, it's worked out really well, actually, because he's been, uh, been having lots of work. He's been keeping mm -hmm. fit, keeping yeah. busy. I mean, uh, we've had all his <sighs> shoes done, we've yep. had his saddle fitted. Well, they've done it all for us yeah. whilst we've been away. And also they had all the rugs, didn't they? And everything. All, they have literally every single size rug you can imagine. From like a miniature pony to like 20 hand thoroughbreds. Yeah, they've just got everything. And so it's just been perfect that I could just drop them off here. And then they had everything. I didn't yeah. need to worry about everything. And then I've now ordered it all, haven't I, Harlow? Mm. Yeah. And we're going to try it all on him. And also, Cloudy went there as well a couple of days before we bought the new pony because we also didn't want him being out of work for a week. Yes, because... Popcorn's actually the easiest one. We don't know what the new one's actually like. He's probably super easy and chilled. Yeah, but pop, Popcorn... But Cloudy, it doesn't... Cloudy <gasps> needs to be in work a lot. Yeah, otherwise Cloudy goes bonkers. He's like... Buck. <laughs> <laughs> he had a couple of weeks off this year and we brought him back into work and he was like... He, he just tried it once, didn't he? Yeah. He and did. then he was like, okay, now I'm, I know I'm not allowed to do that. He was like, oh, okay, I forgot myself, sorry. <laughs> uh, but then Popcorn, he's like, oh la la, what are we doing today? Are we doing jumping? Can we do a bit of jumping? Are we going out to like one meter ten? Like, he's really easy to bring back into work. So yeah, both the ponies have been on a bit of a boot camp. Whilst we've been in the Maldives, they've been 
They've just been busy. Busy yeah. boys. Busy boys. So now we're going to go and collect both the Cloudy and the new pony, bring them back to Forest Oaks, and then all the ponies are going to be together. And the new pony and Popcorn are going to have stables next to each other. So Popcorn's going to be like, his nose is going to be like squeezing through the bars, like, let me sniff your. So we're heading to the other yard now, and I'm going to have a lesson on both of the ponies, both Cloudy and the new one. I'm going to tell you his name when we get there, I think, because it's nice to introduce his name whilst I'm with him. I just can't wait to have all of the ponies together because, oh, it's, it's a bit like, it's so much nicer when they're all at the same yard because otherwise we're like, oh, we're going to Cloudy's, we're going to Popcorn's, but now we're going to have them all at the same yard, but we're, gonna, we're still going to go there for lessons and everything, like maybe once or twice a week. And yeah, and the ponies will still be going there, like whenever we're on holiday or we've got like a super busy patch, yeah. the ponies will always because go back for some training. Popcorn because loves just, it there. Uh, but yeah. Cloudy's moved back now. Cloudy's yes. a Forest, Forest Oaks boy, but yes. they will still be going to the other yard because it's just amazing there for the training. They really, really mm. help us out, yeah. um, both Harlow and the ponies. So whilst we're here, I'm just going to pick out what saddle pad I'm going to wear today. So um, the new pony actually fits in the Lemieux like size saddle pads that Popcorn fits into. So, oh, I think... Oh, he also fits in the same ones that Cloudy fits into as well. So it's perfect. He's, um, in, he's in the middle. Yep, he's perfect size. I think the one that I want to wear is in the in the. I think it's in Cloudy's locker. Oh yeah, here it is. Here's the saddle pad. I'm gonna do. It's actually tiny. I don't think it's gonna fit him. It's all a bit of a learning curve right now because we're just working out what fits and what doesn't fit. So yeah, but we. Mm, I think it might just go over a bit. We'll try it when we get there, but... So this locker is also empty. We'll give it a little dust out and everything, but it's perfect. So we can have Cloudy's, then the new ponies on here, um, because Cloudy's is really light. I can just like, ah! Oh. Um, but as well, Popcorn's just like, ah, ah, ah. So we'll put Cloudy's on the top, and then we'll just put... He does wear some boots when jumping, like brushing boots. So we'll just put them in there, treats, and it'll give us a bit of extra storage for a... in here because this is a bit, it's giving cluttered vibes right now. I think our job this week is gonna be organizing all the pony stuff. I just cannot wait now, guys. I'm so excited to, to go and pick up the boys. But yeah, this is perfect. Should we put something in it so like no one else steals it? Go on then. Perfect. <laughs> that looks like a spare cupboard, babes. Put, put, put like some saddle pads in it. Okay, I'll put the, those there because otherwise they just clutter up this locker. And we don't really like the clutter. So these need to go in our garage, but not today. We haven't really had time to put them back, have we? Right, I think that looks occupied now. Yeah. Right, guys, we're going to go get the horse box and we'll see you at Cloudy's Yard. Right, let's go. Let's go. The treats. So this is Rolo. Oh, where's the head collar? So much fluff. Come here. I know fluff overload. Come here, darling. You excited to ride him again? Yes. I'm very excited. So he's had all new shoes done, hasn't he? Yep, he got he's some new shoes. He's had his saddle shoes. sorted. Mm. We've ordered all his stuff while we was away. Yep. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. I'll tie you up here. I'm going to get my grooming kit. 
Right, guys, we've got to run inside because it's about to rain now. No, it is. It is raining. It is raining. Pop him in the barn. Why have you got a stool, <laughs> stool babe? Because I didn't want to put my grooming kid down on the muddy floor. Oh. I was going to say, you don't need stool to groom him. I know. <laughs> He's small. Small. I'm just cleaning his little tootsie witsies. Where are loads of first little pamper sesh guys? Oh my gosh! Getting these toes nice and clean. Well, his first pamper session with me, he probably has had a lot of pamper sessions in his life. He's like bigger than cloudy, but smaller than popcorn. So it's like, hmm, how do I angle this? <laughs> I think we've realized that Merlin is a bit of a mud monster. It's probably gonna be like cream streaks of hair in his mane now. Yeah, look, from um, Cloudy's hair. Oh my God, I can't believe how dirty his mane's gone. We have got a full jam-packed week planned. We're going out and about with him. Um, I am on half term at the moment. I've got another week off and then I go back to school. So we're gonna try and get in as much as possible. Um, like as many competitions um, and now before I go back to school. I've got lessons, I've got dressage tests, um, I've got arena hires and lots of show jumping as well. So it's a jam-packed week basically. Look how flowy this is gonna be now. <sighs> He's got mud all over his eyebrow. Look, don't know how I'm gonna get that off. Oh, Rolo. I'm not used to all this dirt. Even Cloudy is cleaner than you. <laughs> and he's messy. Good just boy. be gentle and just put your hand underneath the mud so it doesn't go in his eye. Come here. There we go. There we go, it's all off. Oh, he's got, he's got his, his hair collar all dirty now. I know. I just absolutely love him. He's so cute and he's such a special little boy. I mean, all of our ponies are. I'm just so happy that he's in my, our lives now and I'm gonna be so happy riding and enjoying him. And then Harlan's gonna be having a little ride on him sometimes, so. Yeah, we'd like to, Harlan to do a bit of lead rein, wouldn't we? Yes. With him. Mummy's definitely gonna need the outfit. <laughs> Not the H&M na navy bucket hat. <laughs> and the beach shorts. Don't forget the towel, yep. and, towel, and, towel and beach shorts. Yep. He's got a bit of armpit mud. So yeah, he will be coming back here like Cloudy does every now and then for like training or do like a couple days schooling. Mm. Um, because um, Mandy and Bee who, um, who run this place, who own it, own the farm, they really help us out with just everything, don't they, Harlow? Yeah, they're so nice and helpful. So, yeah, um, they've been such a great help with Cloudy. They're and just they're very, very, very knowledgeable and experienced with ponies, natives, Shetlands. They, they know everything. They know everything. So, yeah, we're really lucky to have them help us out. And, um, yeah, they help Harlow out the lessons as well. So. Yeah, there won't be the end of... I know we're going to be taking both the boys away today back to Popcorn Yard, but that's just so we can be with, with them, like, every day and Harlow can be riding them. Yeah. So this is Popcorn's dressage saddle pad. And... Oh, no. Oh, it's drowning him. Oh, he's too small. That right. looks a bit better. Yeah, but that's forward cut and your saddle... I know, but they just don't do it in dressage. No. They do the mini in dressage. No, they don't. Don't think they do, babe. It's fine. Rolo, are you a pretty boy? I've got to go ride Cloudy after this, haven't I? Yeah. Cloudy's going really well. Is he? You have to be really vigilant with those transitions at home, yeah? Mm-hmm. If he's not perfect, and I mean really round, 
especially trot to walk transition, you have to keep repeating it mm -hmm. until he does it properly, yeah? Okay. Wait, does he suit the popcorn look? <gasps> he actually does though. And then we've got to put it over the eyes, like little curtains. I don't think he pulls it off quite as much. I know, but he pulls it off just about. Just about. He needs a little decoration there, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, no, he needs the... He needs his own look. Yeah, what should we make here? Just a long... <gasps> the side look. Oh, the side look, okay. The side look, we're going with the side look, guys. Side sweep. Side oh, sweep. Oh, yeah, that's the side sweep. The side sweep. So that's the Rolo look. That's the Rolo look. Come on. Love it, darling. Wait, no, we need to get Claudia's own look. Oh, is it just a lion? <laughs> it's got his, his lion. <laughs> Come on, Rolo. No one could even recreate that. <laughs> no, no one. <laughs> Unless oh, no, Claudia no, no. has like an identical twin. Do you find his trot like quite levitating? Yeah. I thought that as well. Oh, we found a bridle. Claudia was just trotting over. Claudia! Oh, look at him. He's like, that's my brother. I'm my own motivation. Don't care what people say. This is my celebration. I do this my own way. Watch out, I'm coming out now. I stay in my I'm feeling myself. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm feeling myself. All right. Hey, I'm feeling myself. Uh, yeah. I'm feeling myself. Uh, do it like no one else. Hey, hey, right there. Uh, I feel it. Uh, turn it up. Hey, I'm feeling myself. Uh, oh yeah. I'm feeling myself. Birthday party, watch out, I need my cake. I trip off from my body, make them do a double take. Watch me come alive in the nighttime, still living life in the day. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, so cute. He like, he like launched it. He's like going really fast now. He's like rushing up to the drums. It was just hilarious when he catapulted. Huh? You didn't knock any. But yeah, no, again, I like that. He wasn't even close to knocking yeah. any. He's bold. And you want something that would rather, that feels brave enough that they will yeah. stand off. Look how he's still perfectly square. Is he actually? Honestly, this pony. He is the dream. He's pretty and he knows it. We're just going to try his new rug on him now, but he doesn't want to come into the... There's like an outside bit and there's an inside bit and he doesn't want to go into the inside bit. Come on! Come oh, on. come on! Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's the big step. It's like... Come on! That's it. Come on, darling! Is he stuck? <laughs> oh, bless oh. him! Here we go. So this is one of his new rugs. I ordered him about six. <laughs> she literally did. Well, he needed a rug for everything, so. Right, she, so she got him about two extra rugs for everything. 
So you got him about three, <coughs> you got him two turn up rugs, didn't you? Yeah, a bit of a lighter one. And, and then you one. got him like this traveling one. Oh, is he going to have a wee? Oh, oh he's going to have a wee Like Cloudy, potty trained. That jumping, I can't believe he He jumped jump. at about 50 centimetres too big. I was like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. So Cloudy's got this rug as well. Yes. But he's got it in navy. And, and a bit smaller. A bit smaller. Popcorn's got this rug as well, but he's got it in... No, he hasn't, he's got it different he's, he's got a lemure one and his got, is gray yes they're so, really good because they're like um absorbing yeah keep them warm so let's see if this fits this is a five foot i think it'll fit all right you know oh the straps i always forget to do the straps on the new rug because it's been annoying and he's got a stable rug for tonight when we take him back to ours yep still loads more we need to order him yet I know. We need to order him like some... a nice hood. Yes. Oh, that looks lovely. Oh, it he goes He looks so... nice in the black, doesn't he? He does. I think he'd look nice in burgundy as well. Yeah. Oh, look at that massive salt lake. Cloudy would love that. He'd be like... <coughs> Cloudy's just being tacked up now, so I'm going to ride him as well. We might pop a little cross as well, because we're taking him to the... Um, Jumping tomorrow as well. Um, it's not a competition or anything, it's just a little arena higher. So, is it far for us? It's 45 minutes. Not the worst drive in the world. Oh, you're so cute, Rollo. Got the little ticket there, I'll put that in the bag. Well, I'm glad they fixed it. I didn't want to send that huge box back. He, he looks, looks lovely so with a clip. smart. You got a little peachy one. How cream is he? It's actually really sad. No, I love his colour when he's clipped. Do you? He's so bright. <laughs> I know, he's just like... Whew. He always looks clean. He does. He always looks clean. And I'm like, why does his mane look white and yellow and rainbow and just different colours? <laughs> looks so flat. Because he went to the Maldives. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> looks like we bleached it. Oh, my. It looks so flat, doesn't it? It's really no, looks... I mean, the colour of it looks so different. It's normally so much more chisely It looks really beachy. One, two, three. Ooh, that was a really bad leg. That was about for five. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Cloudy! It looks really nice up against the leaves. He's just a really autumnal pony. He's an autumnal pony. <laughs> he is quite an autumnal pony. Oh, I'm freezing now. Oh. And we're riding like this. Winter's coming. It's like 64 days till Christmas. I need to get my something. massive. No, it's like 50 days till Christmas. Like, hey, really? Yeah. It's the good, 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 good life. It's the good, good, go all night. Feeling money, feeling okay. Riding high, feeling alive. It's the good, 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 good life. Life. These the days and nights we always will.
right, it's really dark now. I'm just going to go and pop Rolo in the horse box. We've still got a couple things to get. We've just got a couple more rugs that we need to get for Cloudy. Um, so we're going to go pop those in in a minute. <laughs> whilst we, whilst Mum does that, I'm going to ro load Rolo up. <laughs> He's like, Ford. Come on. You had loads of turnout today. Come on. Oh, can you do the partition, Mum? He's like, I don't want to leave this place. Good boy. Bye bye. Is your thing on? Is it mine? Hi, Cloudy Boy. Should I go get someone to help? Steady, steady, steady. Nope. I think he's going to have a roll. Same. Nope. Pop one's like, it's shoving his nose through the bar. Like, hello, come here, please. Oh, look at Popcorn. Is that your brother? Is that your brother? <laughs> we can't leave it two minutes alone. <laughs> I think he's gonna roll. Oh. Ooh la la. Ooh. Chorassic. Ooh. Gee. <laughs> we'll shake a bit more off then. A bit more, yeah. We have so much stuff to unpack. I think we're just gonna have to do it tomorrow now because it's getting so late. We still gotta walk Cloudy out to the field, but luckily we've got a little torchlight thing. So. We've got to sort the baby's rugs out though. We've got to change Rolo's and we've got to get the turnout rug. Mm. We're just going to do that and then we'll just pop the horse box where we just empty it all tomorrow. Yeah. Pop was like a moss lift. Oh, we're going to use a green pad. <laughs> I don't... Nearly, babe, nearly, nearly. Baby, baby, boy, come here, this way. This way, you nearly did it. I mean, a bit more of an improvement than Popcorn. <laughs> Popcorn's like, you press it and he's like, ah! <laughs> Claudia, I think you just like sprint to the other side of the stable. He's like, he, he wants to like touch it, but he's just like, ooh, good boy, good boy, puppy gun, hello. Right, come on, drink the water. Another step. I'm so happy that we've got the boys together side by side in their stables. I think Popcorn is going to be literally haunting him tonight. Like literally, I, th I, th I feel like his nose is going to be through the bars like, come here, Bonnie, let me snip you. Like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Popcorn's like, oh, Bonnie. Small tiny. 
similar size to me. Finally. <laughs> He's like, but still smaller than me. Hi, Pokemon. His eye looks so much better, look. Popcorn. Let's go say hello to him. Okay, I'll close this. Hi. He's so much bigger. Oh, itchies, itchies, itchies. <laughs> Look at his nose. <laughs> right, we've got to get all these ponies to bed now. Oh, eat popcorn say all his dinner, but We've got to change for done. Popcorn's done. He's the easy boy. We've got to go get Cloudy up the field. Oh, he's untangled himself now. Um, <laughs> but you've got to go get, we've got to go put his rug on. Rolo's rug on. Popcorn's still there. We've got to go put Rolo's rug on. Then we've got to put Cloudy's turnout rug on. Then we've got to walk Cloudy up there, put the horse box back, go and get some dinner and then go to bed and probably have a shower as well. So we've got a lot more to do yet. I just wanted to say, guys, thank you all so much of your lovely messages from the part one of buying our new pony. But you guys have literally been like, update, please, update, please, like everywhere. Like, I just see my mum's phone, ding, 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 update, update, update. I literally cannot believe that we've got three ponies now. It's a dream come true. But yeah, he's, we've got like, I feel like we've been so lucky. We've got the best three ponies that are best suitable for our lives. Like Rolo is going to be amazing for Harlan. Uh, my instructor that was teaching me today said, we've got to get Harlan learning Rolo's canter. Like first time Harlan canters, it's got to be on Rolo. Cause he's just got the sweetest little smooth, calm canter. And it's absolutely amazing. And it's his also, his trot strides are going to be a bit easier for Harlan to learn on as well because with the cloudies it's like pew, 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 pew. Um, but his is a bit more calmer and elegant um, isn't it? Cloudy's been doing so well we've been we, Harlan's been doing Gymkhana with him like steering in, in and out the cones like a couple months ago he couldn't even steer or rise he couldn't yeah. rise to his trot and now he's he's doing it amazingly yeah he's got so Honestly, guys, it is going to be such an exciting winter for all these three ponies and mums even trying to ride popcorn. <laughs> I know, I said today. And I cannot wait to hack them all out in the winter, do lots of dressage and show jumping with them. Mum's already like got a jam packed week. <laughs> Like, she's been booking all these events whilst we're on holiday. She's like, Harley, there's a bit of dress sergeant on the weekend. Do you want to do that? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm just like, yeah, sure. And she's like, there's also a jumping clay round. Do you want to do that? And I'm like, sure. Like she's, been, she's been booking all these um, competitions like whilst we're on holiday. So you've planned ahead, haven't you, Mum? Yeah. For once. Not pay on, these can't pay on the day, these ones. I know. Guys, we're getting somewhere. It is going to be hard work keeping three ponies up and running. I've got to ride them all, but occasionally, maybe like once or twice a week, Harlan's going to have lessons on either Rolo or Cloudy. And sometimes maybe even on popcorn, you never know. Um, but yeah, we're definitely going to start bringing popcorn back into work um, and just bringing that momentum, momentum of riding and everything back. But yeah. We've got ourselves a superb jumping pony here. I didn't know he could jump. I know. We never seen him jump, but now, kapoosh, he jumped the jump like 50 centimetres too big. That was just a very big first for me. I was like, whoa, what is going on? And I just got launched and I was like, quickly fold. Right, guys, I'm going to tuck the two little boys away now. Get your pyjamas on. And yeah, hopefully, thing. Fingers crossed for tomorrow and um, that it all goes well and everything. But yeah, I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. Wow, I'll just close it. The stable door is so big. Oh. 
He's, he's looking at the feed trough like, is there food in there? Oh, poppycorn. Yes. 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 Yeah, I love you so much.